Hi everyone, my name is Christian from Solotec Solutions and in this video I will show you another example on how to use multi-level terminals. As you can see over here, I've placed a symbol on my screen of a switch with a key and what I'm going to do is um, this might be sitting somewhere outside of my normal cabinet, um, maybe next to a conveyor belt or something. So what I will do is I will use terminals and some um, cables to connect this up. So simply go to my schematic. First draw a couple of wires. Next I will insert a couple of terminals. That can be X2, terminal 1. This can be X2, terminal 2, and X2, terminal 3. Now, maybe you want to save some space inside your cabinet, um, and you don't want to use three terminals for that, but you just want to use one multi-level terminal. What we can do here is we can actually specify that this is going to be a multi-line terminal by right-clicking this first one over here, and left clicking on mul or on level definition. I'm going to say, okay, this terminal is going to have three levels. It will automatically convert or assign um, terminal X to 1.1, so first level. I can then right click on my next terminal here and say, instead of a new terminal, it's going to be part of this multi level terminal. You can now see this will be 1.2. This one is still a separate terminal, so right click, symbol properties, left click on the multi level terminal, and click on OK. And that's now the third terminal. Now let's have a look how this is represented inside the terminal strip editor. We left click on project, terminal strip manager. open up terminal 2 and you can see that we've got one terminal with three different levels which go to three different circuits that's it for this week's video thank you for watching guys